Hey there, my friends. Welcome to another session of Greatest Tips. You can see I'm not at the beach this time. I'm somewhere just as good. Check out this killer view. So this is going to be a half an hour class, as per usual, just trying to get into all the well-known tight spots of our hips. Let's get started now in a seated setup. With the feet together and the knees out wide like so, and lean forward. Make sure this has a light floaty characteristic to it. If you've got a wall, you can pull on that. This is actually very nicely placed. It's always good to have a block with you, just in case. And lean forward. All right, now stop the movie around, pause. Let's now start breathing in and out of the nose. Breathe in and out. Inhale, exhale. Keep going, actually say that in your head. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, keep going, 30 seconds, breathe in deep. Even breath in, even breath out. Nice, three more. You might already feel a shift in energy after just a small amount of time with his breath. Nice, one more time, big breath in. This time out the mouth. Very good, let's come up out of that. For a moment, legs stay pretty much on this line. Get them out wide, sit upright if need be, or go forward. Then come up, turn one way, lean forward. Come up, turn the other way, lean forward. Back up the front, back down the middle. Then up, feet in, forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Come up, nice, get around now into all fours. Plan your hands down, let your hips pop out to the left. Trying to get into this outer hip area. And then swap. Oh, whoa, this is much tighter on my this side for me. Oh. And back to neutral. From here now, some hip circles. Left knee in, out to the side, out to the back, and then back in. There's one. Keep your upper body stable, so it's just a hip circle that has no extra help from upper body movement. There's three, one more, and in and swap. Knee in, out to the side, around the back, and in. Good, one, two, again, keep your upper body stable, three, last one, and four, very nice child's pose for a moment. Let's have priority number one, bum as close to the heels as you can. So you might have to stay up and give it a bit of a push. But once you've got it pretty close, then get out in front. So we'll really try and leave no stone unturned in just our legs in general in this next little while that we're together. Have a breath in. And then from there, come up and take your hands behind. One of my favorites. Maybe just pop the hips up a little bit to maximize the stretch in the front here. Oh, yes, so good and come out. Now tuck the toes under. One minute here in a toe sit. You may have seen this one. This is usually not a crowd favorite, this one. It usually is very hectic on the toes, but super important. Oh yes, I've been doing this recently a lot and it's really been very good. I had a bit of a sore left toe for a bit and this has just totally fixed it. 
funny that, stretch your toes out for a bit and then your sore toe goes away. <laughs> Not rocket science usually. All right, we're halfway. Lean back. If you're not feeling it, oof. Let the toes bend. And then from here, we're gonna go into a downward facing dog. Have a big breath in. Some air out your mouth. And put your hands down. Get off your knees, look back, make sure all your toes are still on the end of your foot there. Sometimes it feels like they're gonna fall off. <laughs> and now walk your heels up and down. Just the count of the toes, you'd actually press the top of the foot on the ground and bend it. Good, move around. Oh yes, yeah, so good. <sighs> All right, pick a spot for a second now in the middle of the dog. So sometimes some knee benders are required and sometimes you can actually just bend your knees anyway just because it feels good. You just get a bit of a different quality in your upper body, in your arms and maybe a slight dip in your upper back for the dog feels great in my opinion. All right, from there, step forward to the top of the mat. Feet are wide. That'll make it a bit easier. Float from side to side here. And pause. Head hanging off neck, passive as you can your legs. So they're just using the minimal amount of effort required just to hold you up. And big breath in. Nice, from there, hands on ground, bend your knees to 90 degrees and back to straight. Bend to 90, be familiar with the 90 degree bend. Back to straight and one more, bend the knees to 90 degrees and back to straight, very good. From here now, bring your feet into hip width distance apart, kind of where they usually more generally get set up. And then from here, left foot's gonna step back into a lunge and 90 degree bend again in the front leg. Don't worry about the back leg so much at the moment, just get 90 degree bend in the front leg. Maybe give it a little light, kind of up and down bounce. Now hold, now look forward and just see if now you can rev up the back leg and get a bit more back leg into it. Look forward, and then from there, step forward so we can swap. Hit a forward fold for a second, then right foot back, and you're going after this 90 degree bend in the front knee. Make sure you've got that happening. Now look forward, and see if you can push back to your right heel and get a bit more in the back leg. Nice, on the second side, put your hand down, step back to a plank, and lower. Three back bends, lift up, and down, up, and down. Just no jam in your back. Just come up and stop when it starts to feel average. It is not a case of the higher you go, the better it works, it's definitely not that. Nice, and lower down. Give your bone a bit of shift from side to side. And from there, push up into all fours. Left foot's gonna go out wide at a 45 degree angle to your hip, so it's off the mat. Put your hands anywhere where you can feel your hammy and your inner thigh open. Okay, foot comes in and swap. Right foot out, off the mat at 45 degree angle to your hip. And now position yourself, your upper body and your back leg so you're maximizing what you're feeling on that front leg.
couple more moments here. Oh, this is so good. Oh, yes. Nice, and bring the foot back onto the mat. Toes touching, knees wide, hands behind, lean back. We did this before, and let's throw it in again. Again, if you just lift your hips up a tad, get this just different quality to it. You can also go back. Could go back as well. Oh, they're both pretty good. I need to do about 25 minutes in this. <laughs> oh God, so tight. All right, big breath in. And calm up out of that. Let's repeat the toe sit. Another minute here. Perfect. Another minute here. And I swear, last one. Let's add in some hand movements as well. Flick your hands back. So you're just getting this kind of like shoulder and chest opener at the same time. Might take a bit of focus off the feet as well. Bit of a pumpy action. Hands flick back just to get shoulders and chest a little bit. Nice, now stop the hands, interlace hands behind back. Breathe in. Fifteen seconds, hang in there. I'm loving this. This is absolutely killing my toes. So it's working. <laughs> Big breath in, Oof, and down, dog. And it sometimes actually, by some amazing miracle, actually help the back of the legs be more open. You might feel that. Have a breath. Nice, step back forward to the top of the mat. This time, hands not on the ground. Bend your knees to 90. Little light bump. Back to the forward fold. Again, bend. Straighten. One more. Bend, get the hands out in front this time. Sit in a 90 degree bend. So it's, you feel some thigh burning quality. And back to straight. This time, hands on knees halfway up, hands on chest. See if you can gently push your legs to straight here while you're leaning forward a little bit. They have a great chance of being straight here like this. So try and make that happen if you can. Take your arms out. Get your chest right out in front. Feel your back of your leg stretch out. And slowly go back down. Oh, yes. From here, right foot steps back into a lunge. Keep your left foot wide where it was. Get the 90 degree bend again. Look forward like we did before. It's slightly different because the foot is wider. Rev up your back leg so it's straight and lift your chest up any amount. Give it a bit of a rock from side to side and front and back. If you're feeling your legs doing something here, you're doing it right. Now twist. Oh, yes. Bend your back knee a little bit. Hand down. Pop forward, forward fold. And now the right foot's on the edge, step back, hands down. 90 degree bend in front knee. Bit of moving around here. Again, if you, feel, if you can feel your legs doing something here, you're in the right spot. Back leg rock solid straight. Twist. Now maybe bend that back knee. Oh, yes, so good. Hand down, this time step back to plank. Lower, 
a back bend that feels good. Give your bum a bit of a sh shift around there. And hold the middle. Oh, nice. And downward facing dog with your feet together. Big push, right leg up in the air. Hold, stretch out the bottom leg, the left leg that stayed down, and then step forward into a lunge. Left knee goes down. Pull your arms up the front with some lean back. Take your left foot and just take it about five centimeters further to the left so it's off the line where you would normally set it up. Just a small bit of extra width should give you something different there. Then with the hands, take them around the back to the floor and just step straight back to down dog. Have your feet together. And left leg up. Hold for a second, stretch the right leg out. Step forward, knee down, arms up. All right, right foot about five centimeters out to the right. Move it out a little bit and you're gonna feel a whole different area of hip that probably very rarely gets stretched because you always generally set your back foot up in the same spot. Oh yeah, feels good. Oh, feels good, yes. Get into those tight spots there. Big breath in. Exhale, hands go around the back. Put your hands down, take the left foot back and then tuck your toes under and get into a crouch at the back of the mat. So in a crouch, you've got your heels off the ground. Arms forward, shoulders up near ears. Okay, nice. Back to the downward facing dog. The feet together. Right leg lifts up out the back again. Big stretch in the bottom leg. Focus on that opening. Oh, it's so good. Forget about how high your right leg goes. Work out what line your right leg can lift where it's maximum stretch in the bottom leg. And step forward to the lunge. Knee goes down again, this time on the move. Arms go forward like we did before and exhale around the back to the ground. Get off your back knee. Lunge like we did before. From here, keep your legs. Arms now go up. So this is crescent lunge with the legs straight. Reach up. Back leg straight, I should say. Front legs bent. You can see I'm moving a bit just to help move this around, this stretch. Hold for a second. Now pop your back foot in so you're in the top of the pyramid. Lean forward for one moment. Over your front leg. Then come up. Just do a bit of a smaller step back with the left foot. Now this is crescent lunge with the back knee bent. Lean back first with your chest and now bend your left knee. Big bend. Hip above the knee and lean back. There should be some pretty good stuff there in the front of your left hip. Take your hands out, out a little bit as well. Could move around a tad. Hold now. Knee down. Knee bent. Three, two, one. Up. Pop the left foot in. This time pyramid with the hands on the ground or a block. <laughs> Good, stretch out that right hamstring. So you want it to be fairly light on the front leg. So you use the hands on the floor or a block to have that be the case. Oh, so good. This is underrated, this thing. If you're not feeling much, just pull your toes up off the ground. That should give you a different kind of Stretch. Put the foot down. Also, heel off the ground a little bit. That'll give you something slightly different too. Oh, yes, and heel down. Have a breath. Very nice. Step back to 
two-way plank, walk back, lower down, lift up into a back bend for one, and down, two, and down, one more, yep. sometimes change how you, what your feet are doing at the back for something different there and down push back to a crouch at the back of the mat crouchy love the crouch nice go forward to the dog feet together and left leg up out the back step forward knee goes down arms go forward yep and around in a nice big circle to the floor. Get off your back knee. 90 degree bend in the left front there. Arms up. Yep. Back leg is now rock solid straight for a second in this more traditional version of the crescent lunge. Some float. Oh yes. This is the best. Come out, pyramid, half a pyramid. So just the hover kind of situation here. And then come up, right foot steps back a little bit, not as far. This time bend your right knee so the hips drop, then lean. <laughs> oh, Jesus, lean back. This wind's gonna blow me right off. This microphone is not picking up this wind. It's an absolute technological miracle. Lean back, hands out, bend the knee, knee drop, lean back. Five, four, three, two, one, up. And pyramid number two with the hands on something. Breathe. All right, if you did it before, toes up. Down, if you did it before, heel up. And heel down and hold. Nice. Step back to the plank. Lower. Lift up. Just one. And down onto your knees. Left foot out in line with your hip. Walk your hands around near your foot. So this is how we'll get the inner thigh. It's a good one. Oh, yes. Come out and swap. Right foot out at an angle there and hand near feet. Ooh, nice. And bring the leg back in, downward facing dog. Double knee bend, knees almost to the ground, but not quite. Back to the dog, again. One more. Nice, down dog, big breath in. And walk your hands back to your feet. Last forward fold. Check it out. See how it feels. Bend knees to 90 or lower this time for a full squat if you can. Okay, nice. From there, put your knees on the ground, go over your toes for a second, feel that bend. Knees down, undo the feet. One more of these, toes touching, knees wide, lean back. Oh, yes.
Yes. This is so good. Okay, good one. Come up out of that. Flick your legs around. Feet together, knees light, knees wide, I should say, like we started. Oof, lean forward. Try and relax as best as you can. Now come up, take your right hand out to the sides. You've got some lean. Press your left knee out a little bit with your arms straight. So don't push the knee, push just above the knee. And swap, lean, bit of a push out to the side. You can't push too much though, or else your hip will just tighten up even more. Nice, and let that go, and back down the front. Come back up, legs out wide. Again, you might have to just stay upright, but if you can go forward, go forward a little bit. Or a lot. Heels down, toes up. Come up, turn yourself towards the leg. Up and swap. Nice, up again, straight down the front. Nice, up, hands behind, feet in, knees bent again, toes down, heels up, bear sit, knee in, light, and then out, watch my chest, doesn't move at all, other knee comes in, and out, good, two more each way, in, in, oh God, last one, hold, And swap. Oh, yes, yeah, so good. And out. Nice. Feet together, knees wide. Last one. A minute here. And we'll leave it. Pretty good job. Close your eyes. And like we did at the start, breathe in and out of your nose. When you breathe in, say inhale so you can hear it in your head. Inhale, exhale. Rhythmic breath and rhythmic words to go with it. Inhale, exhale. Long breath in, long breath out. Take your time with the breath, slow it down. All right, 20 seconds. Inhale, exhale. You want to hear that in your head. It helps keep your mind focused on your breath if you're saying it. It's less likely to drift off. All right, three deep breaths. Breathe in through nose, out the mouth, again. One more. Very nice. If you're enjoying this last pose, you could totally stay here just a little bit longer. Maybe two, three, four, five extra minutes because this really is a pose you could sit in for a long time. So if you're feeling good, just stay. But I'm going to come out of it now. Alrighty. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for trusting me. Thank you for trusting me with your time. I know time is precious. And every time you get onto your mat, please know you're making this positive contribution to your health. Awesome job, and I'll see you soon.